Hi and welcome back to the channel. Back out on another wild camp tonight. It was a last minute decision to come out. Just decided last minute to grab my kit, get out into the pine forest, make myself something to eat and spend the night in the forest. Yeah, they've got a new tent to try out tonight as well. Can't believe how green the forest is since the last time I was here. Forest looks beautiful, bathed in sunlight. Sun's just setting. It's over them trees there. Yeah, I'm using me Osprey pack today. It's only the second time I've used it. Cracking pack. The Osprey Aoife. Yeah, it's a really big pack. You can get a lot in it. Yeah, like I said, it's only the second time using it. Yeah, so I'm using a new tent, the Nordis Falbard. It's two kilograms, this is the pack size. Quite compact. Yeah, it's a really good quality pack as well. Stuff sack, really soft material. Right then, so it's in the pitch first tent. I'm impressed with the ground sheet, it's really tough, really rugged. Reminds me of the, the Jack Wolf skin. Cost my ground sheet. I mean, some tents you get them and the ground sheets are just far too thin. So I'm really pleased with this. Yeah, it's a one man tent, in the pitch first. Comes with two aluminium poles. There's the pegs. Right then, so that's in a tent set up. Pretty straightforward, just two poles, one large one, one small one at the back. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the, the ground sheet. It's 8,000 millimetre hydrostatic head. The fly, the also fly is 3,000, but you can use the tent on its own without the fly, like this if you needed to, in the summer, or under the tarp or whatever. Yeah, the overall tent together is two kilograms in weight. So not the lightest for the one-man tent, but not the heaviest either. It's supposed to be really, really good in strong winds, this. It's been tested over 80 mile an hour. Yeah, on the Nordis website, they say it can withstand winds up to hurricane force, so it could be a good little tent for camping in the hills as well. Yeah, it's quite high up on the highest point as well inside. I think it's a metre, so it should be able to sit up as well. Yeah, I think the fly sheet just clips into these little buckles here. Right then, so that's an Ordis Falbard PU. Two kilograms in weight. And it's supposed to be able to withstand winds of over 80 mile an hour. Time will tell. But yeah, I'm impressed with it so far. Seems a little solid tent. Seems a little bit slack on this side, but to be honest, the ground is really uneven here. That's my excuse anyway. So there you go. I paid £148 for it. And that included free delivery as well. I think it's a really, really good bargain, to be honest. Yeah, I think the only thing I'd change are the red ropes. I'd probably just have green. But it does seem to blend in quite nicely, to be honest. Nice stealthy colour. They're perfect for wild camping, stealth camps. Decent pack size. And only two kilograms as well. 
and you can sit up in it, which is a bonus. So yeah, please so far. It's near midnight. Really down in one chin chin. Lovely stuff. Got some nice fresh raw king prawn on the go. I'm just having a stir fry tonight. I did bring noodles, but to be honest, I'm not even that hungry, so I'm just going to leave them out. So yeah, put, put the king prawn to one side, I've got mushrooms, vegetables, rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, chilies. Yeah, just the usual mix. King prawn and mushroom with chili and ginger sauce. Looking forward to this. Yeah, I love a nice stir fry on a camp. You don't need water, so easy to make. Really filling, really tasty as well. Can't beat it. Border valves out again. I was thinking about taking a little walk down to the beach. I'm not sure whether to leave my tent here because it's about a 15 minute walk. So it means leaving my tent on its own. This is some owls. Good morning, so this is the inside of the Nordisk Svalbard. Quite a small tent inside, can sit up. Quite narrow down the bottom, but I don't mind that because it kind of keeps me mat from moving about. Just used Checkology UL80 OEX sleeping bag. Vespule's quite small, but there's enough room to keep my boots. Rubbish bags. I just have my pack at the side of me. Yeah, nice little tent. I'll just show you the inside of the tent now that I've cleaned it out. Yeah, I had a little walk through the forest last night. About 10 o'clock, half 10. And I bumped into two people camping, two people I know, two of my friends. So I ended up talking to them until about one in the morning. You might be able to wear machinery in the background there. So yeah, I'm gonna get packed up and get out of here. It's 10 to 8 now. Just getting some beans and sausages on. Beautiful morning. Check out this water bottle. Get up a sent this for free. The Lark stainless steel bottle. Purifies water. Well, kills bacteria using UV light. Show you the lid now. Yeah, it'd set you back £80 though. No. Yeah, we set this for free. If you just press the lid. It activates the UV, the UV light inside. And kills 99.999% of bacteria and germs. Cracking little bottle. So if you're out in the Peak District and you see a mountain stream or Snowdonia, fill this bottle up. 
that's the UV light. And the water should be safe to drink. The only thing is it won't get rid of all the all the bits. What you could do is just put some cloth over the top of it as you pour into your cup. But yeah, it's a cracking little bottle. First time trying the outkit, Micey Pot. Really enjoyed that breakfast. Yeah, 900 millimeter titanium pot. Right then, so that's me packed up. Leave no trace as always. Bag's packed. It's a cracking pack this. Definitely recommend that. <laughs>